Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Silky. And now to his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other and they will trade punches, they will trade kicks. It's gonna be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon today. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to his feet. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block.
Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. No good. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, spinning back fist. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Just out of the range with that right hand. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. 30 seconds to go. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Breathe. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he lands the knee to the body now. Liver kick. Five oh minutes God. in the books. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Just missed with the leg kick. Big ball from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? He's got the reach advantage, you might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Real nice body kick lands. We march on three minutes to go. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Whiffs on the right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, a huge block there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice punch there. Nice head kick. jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Big punch lands through the middle. Yeah. 
And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they set him. Blocks the shot. 15 seconds. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land the strike. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice. Got clip with the right hand. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice loop and punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Going for the spinning side kick to the body, but he missed. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, big punch land. Punch coming, it's blocked. 30 seconds to go. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body. Oh, the every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Touch it because you're dropping your hands. You need to go back to the game plan, just like you practiced in the gym. Hands high, chins low, protect yourself. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. 
Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A bit. Horrible. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Back and forth we go. Just misses with the jet. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Slips the punch nicely there. Big kick lands. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Check these low leg kicks. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job, Wow! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh! Right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes he's throwing it over and over again. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fights. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Beautiful punch. Oh, connects with the one-two. Big body kick. Right hand upstairs. And he landed the right hand there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Straight punch lands. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, this one is coming down to the wire. This has been so action-packed. I'm gonna stand up and call the rest of this fight. I hope nobody is behind me. This has been insane. I mean, it's unbelievable that we've still been sitting the whole time. Multiple times, you wanna jump out of your seat because these guys are putting on such a fantastic fight. Punch over the top. All right, single collar tie now. 
Left hand points to the clinch. Muay Thai plump. And they separate. Got the single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hand. And he continues to work the body here. How about that shin? Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big kick lands. Not there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Massive knee to the body land. Lands the right hand. What else can you say but what a fight? Well, don't leave it in the judges' hands. A little bit easier said than done. Competitive, close fight. You got to lean either way. I mean, it is horrible when you walk back to the center of the octagon not knowing exactly who won the fight. I thought he won a lot of the striking exchanges, but it wasn't very clear. So it'll be interesting to see who gets the decision. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Silky. Judge two scores it, 48-47, Iron. And judge three scores it, 48-47, declared the winner by split decision, Iron! All right, so there it is. Two of the three judges saw it his way. He gets it done by split decision. You've never won a split decision in your career. Oh, I've won a split decision. Alexander Gustafson and why I went to a split decision. Right after the first scorecard was read in his way, I almost panicked because I was like, oh my goodness, it's over. So I understand exactly what these two guys are feeling when they went to the center of the octagon.